Hello, my name is Mr. Pendergrass, and I am the elementary instrumental music teacher at Fairmount Park here in West Seattle. I miss my students very much, so I'm glad to be with you sharing my love of music today. I'm making this video at my home here. We call this the office. I live here with my wife, who is the counselor also at my school. I have two grown boys, uh, one who lives north of here in Muckleteo, and my other son lives in Portland with his wife. We miss seeing them, but we talk with them often. This is a trumpet lesson, and we're going to do a lesson that focuses on how to practice using the brass method. I'll explain more about that in a moment. We're going to review some of our pitches using some songs you may know, and then I will introduce you to our new piece, Imperial March from Star Wars. So for this lesson, you're going to need your trumpet, all right? Uh, you don't necessarily need a music stand for this lesson today, but it's always nice to have one. And you're going to need a paper to take some notes and a pencil. So I'll give you a moment to gather all your materials. Okay, the first thing we want to do is tell you about a word that you can use to help you think about practicing. The word is brass, like what your trumpet is made from. And each letter in the word brass stands for a concept or idea we'll use to help you practice. So as you can see there, B stands for buzz and breath. R stands for repetition and rest. A stands for articulation and agility. S stands for sing it. And the final S stands for share it. And I'll explain each one of those in detail. I'd like to start with that first B, buzz and breath. You already know that to make a sound on the trumpet, we buzz our lips into the mouthpiece. And without a good breath or buzz, it won't make a good sound. I will demonstrate my favorite buzz warm-ups, then after I demonstrate, I'll give you a chance to try it on your own. So let's just take our mouthpiece. Now make sure when you set your trumpet down, you put it in your case. Don't set it on the bell like this, or it could get smashed flat. So be careful when you set your trumpet down. If you got it safely down, we're going to um, do some buzzes like this. Okay, make sure you have a lot of breath, the other part of B in brass, and really have a solid buzz. Listen. Try to think of blowing warm, fast air to get a good buzz. Okay, now let's do some sirens just on the mouthpiece like this. Go as high as you can by tightening your lips. Then go as low as you can by loosening your lips. Don't forget that warm, fast air. Then go up and down to create a siren effect. Now, finally, for our last part of the mouthpiece only warm up, we're going to buzz a song. What do I mean? Well, listen to this and see if you can name this tune by just me buzzing it. You got that. Did you get hot cross buns? Yeah. Pick a tune and try to blow. It's just a really fun way to get your lips warmed up. Now, get your mouthpiece and try my buzzing warm ups. OK, 
Okay, now we are ready to put our mouthpiece on our trumpet. Now, when you put your mouthpiece on your trumpet, just set it on there. Don't bang on it with your hand. I know it makes a really cool noise, but if your mouthpiece gets stuck, it's a real bummer. You need a special tool to take it out. So just set it in there, maybe do a little twist, and that's all you need. So I'm going to show you how to do what's called a lip slur, and then I'm going to take you through some lip slur warm-ups. These are really great to get your lips in shape for playing. So the first pitch we're going to play is a G, which is no valves. I'm going to play G, and then I'm going to lower my lips to play the note below it, which is C, also no valves. Then I'm going to tighten my lips and go back up to G. This is called a lip slur, and it sounds like this. The key is to blow a lot of air while you're moving your lips, tightening them to go high, loosening them to go low. Do that one more time. This is G, then C, then G. Now once you have that lip slur, press down on the following valve combinations, and you'll see from this chart. Second valve. First valve. First and second valve. And as you add more valves, you're going to have to blow more air. Now, second and third valve. One and three, blow lots of air. One, two, and three. Now, you try doing some lip slurs on your own. Don't worry if the more valves you add, the harder it gets. Be patient and blow warm, fast air. Okay, let's try some songs you might know, but we're going to sing these songs while we finger them. I call this fingering your music. I use this completely made up word with my students all the time. And when they hear me say, let's finger this song, they know it will go something like this. Mi, re, do, mi, re, do, 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 re, 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 mi, I'm sure you recognize that tune, Hot Cross Buns, but notice I sang it with the syllables Mi, Re, and Do, and while I was singing, I was pressing down the valves or fingering the pitches at the same time. Here's the deal. If you can sing it, you can play it. It's really important on the trumpet. If you don't know how to sing with Do, Re, Mi, try using the words to the song or singing the pitch names like this. Hot cross buns, or with the pitch names, E, D, C, then play it. Sphinger your music. Now here's a list of other songs you may know that you can sphinger as well. Okay, we are ready to learn the Imperial March from Star Wars. Let me play it for you while you look at the music. I'm going to play it one more time. 
Maybe you could sfinger it. Now take your trumpet and play along with me. Notice I've given you the fingerings of some pitches you may not know. You're going to need a lot of air for that high B flat, that first valve, which is the highest pitch in the song. And you're going to also need a lot of air to play that low 1, 2, 3 D flat. So take your time and rest when needed. Thank you for playing music with me today. I hope that you will practice what you've learned today. Remember to always blow more air than you think you need. That warm, fast air is key. You can do the last S in brass today. Share what you learned with your family. They will love to hear you play. If you have time, keep practicing what we did today and other exercises and songs you've learned with your elementary instrumental music teacher. I look forward to seeing you again.